some restaurants you're drawn to because of pretty pictures or great Yelp reviews, but today one of my other senses is taking over. This place smells incredible. I can't wait to show you guys The Pioneer, a great new barbecue restaurant that's really changing the scene here in San Carlos. Let's go inside. Okay, Jeff, I started drooling when I walked in here because this place smells amazing. And I feel like we're in like North Park or something. Yeah, so welcome to the Pioneer here in San Carlos. This is a, a newer restaurant and you can smell the barbecue for miles. Oh yeah. I drove by here this morning taking care of something and I'm like, I know I'm coming back here this afternoon. <laughs> so, you know, my mouth is watering all day for this place. Absolutely. We have Katie here who's the general Hello. manager. Hi, nice to meet you. And probably the expert. Yes. Even though I may be an expert after staring at this stuff yes, for a little bit. Absolutely. And smelling it all. <laughs> absolutely. This is their food is so good. Like it's worth coming here. It looks amazing. Okay, so not our, but all barbecue is created equal. No. You guys have a really specialized way that you cook your meats here, right? Yeah. So everything is cooked for 12 hours. Um, when we leave at night, we have to throw some wood in the smoker. Um, it cooks on overnight, and then so everything goes in by 8 p.m., and then it comes out by 8 a.m. So everyone's here by 8 a.m. pulling everything out. Brisket actually cooks a little bit longer, so our brisket's not available until after 2.30 in the afternoon. Um, but we do have a really good brisket sandwich on the lunch menu, but everything kind of switches over at 2.30 for dinner. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's some dedication right there. Yeah, it yeah. is. Could you imagine having that job, like be the person in charge of loading the smoker? Like, on the way <laughs> a little out the bit of pressure, because if you forget, <laughs> Oh, yeah. So tomorrow's not going to be so good. Tomorrow's huh? not going to be so great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have a great plate over here. Um, Jeff, make sure you keep your hands out of here, all right? We need it for the camera. <laughs> what is on this plate? So we have our smoked half chicken. We have our pepper rubbed brisket. We have our pulled pork shoulder. We have our sausage links. And then we have our dry rubbed ribs. Ooh, that yes. sounds really good. And you've been here multiple yeah, times. Yeah, I've been here multiple times. And again, like, it's, it's good barbecue. And I mean, I barbecue at home, but by no means would I sit here and like compare anything I do to an actual like restaurant. And you know, brisket takes what, 12 hours 12 you said? 12 to 14 hours, yeah. I don't have 12 hours to cook. I'd much yeah. rather leave it to the professionals like yeah. you guys. And it smells amazing. Okay, so the brisket we were talking about has, you guys inject it with stuff or so something? So yeah, it's injected with, with flavors, right? Um, so it's kind of these big needles that they look slightly terrifying, um, but they use it to inject it. Um, and then when they cook it, they cook it upside down. So um, the fat and all the juices and everything kind of run down and run deep into it. Um, and then right before they serve it, they flip it over again, slice it off, and everything sliced to order. So that sounds yeah. amazing. Well, it sounds like the chef behind all this really has invested his time and energy to perfecting this. 100%. So our chef is Hannes Cavan, Chef Hannes. Um, he started Carney and Snack Shack way back in the day um, and was kind of the founder of pork in San Diego. Um, they called him the pioneer of pork and so that is why we are called the pioneer um, because he was behind it and so he is all things pork and barbecue and that's what we went with, so. That sounds like a good name for me. <laughs> God knows what he's doing. And like, again, like barbecue, ribs, those are my, that's what I like, so. They are good. They're very good. So more than pork, he does everything. He does a little <laughs> bit of everything, yeah. yeah. Okay, so the sides over here, because this is kind of my neck of the woods, so I'm trying to keep my hands out of it, you guys. I'm doing my, doing my best. What do we have over here? These are a few of our sides. Um, so we have a pork belly uh, red pepper saute. It's a little bit like a succotash. So it's our pork belly that we use. Um, we all made in-house, a little bit of red peppers, uh, sauteed corn. Um, our house-baked beans have a little bit of apple juice and pork in them as well. Um, super good. They're a little bit sweet, but delicious all in the same. Um, and then we have the creamy cornbread, which is almost like a cornbread pudding or a stuffing that you would have at Thanksgiving, but all the ingredients of cornbread. It's really good. Your guys' bar menu. Yeah. It's incredible. Thank you. Thank so you. What is the inspiration? I mean, all those craft cocktails are something that you would find downtown, stuff like that. Um, so but when I got here, I really kind of challenged the bartenders to make it their own and kind of come up with the things. And so I was just kind of there for guidance and assistance. Um, but to make it something fun and relatable and something you could get downtown or in North Park. But we're a family restaurant and we have family style prices and it's kind of stuff like that. And so we wanted to make that um, something that would present well here. And um, it's going over well and um, it's all we have. everyone kind of handed making the drinks and it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. And San Carlos is a neighborhood friendly, like family friendly neighborhood here. Yeah, you bet. So. We have families moving in from places like North Park, downtown, you know, not so family friendly sort of, you know, parts of San Diego. They're coming here. They still want to eat well. They want to go out to dinner. Now they, a lot of them have kids they need to bring with them. So, you know, this place hits the spot. You can bring your family, you can eat well. The kids can be entertained. It's close. 
and you know these guys are super involved in the community. They sponsor the little league. Um, they're around town, and that's what San Carlos is all about. So you know it's a welcomed addition. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, we're happy to be here. We have the foosball tables and Jenga, and we're super kid friendly. And, and kids menus on frisbees. Yeah, I've never seen this before. It's fun. Yeah, does it get a little wild with the, the frisbees every <laughs> once in a while? Surprisingly, no. Um, there's a couple of times I've been like, hey, don't throw that in the restaurant. Um, <laughs> but most of the time, it's, it's fun. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And that's a good looking menu, too. Yeah. The yeah. mini pork sandwiches are a version of our pork that's on the menu. The burgers are all the same meat that we use on our menu. And the chicken tenders are made in house. And so it's all, all good. And they're good for you. So nothing is frozen and out of the box for these guys. OK, well, one thing that I do want to talk about is the San Carlos area more. I want to dive into, we said that they're, they're part of the Little League, but also the school district in the area, bringing families in. It's a really great school district. Yeah, you've got tons of good schools to choose from. My children go to school around here. As you know, like they've gone through the local preschool. We were there not too I long ago. That That's right. <laughs> um, and so good schools, like it's an active lifestyle out here. You've got, you know, tons of sporting things for kids to do, teams. So like these guys sponsor and get involved and it's a good place to bring a team after a game. Uh, again, like this is just like all about family around here and these guys are right there with us. We have a family that's kind of come in every Saturday now with after Little League and they kind of take over the bar area and play foosball. Parents sit down, kids run around. It's, it's fun. It sounds like the perfect place to spend either a Saturday afternoon with the family or even after work grabbing a cocktail and doing like a happy hour thing. Yeah, absolutely. You guys, hit all, you guys check all my boxes here. Thank you. We tried. <laughs> and you haven't even talked about the beer yet. Oh, oh, Jeff's favorite part. We have to talk about this. Yes. Okay, dive into the beer menu. <laughs> well, 14 handles. Um, we have uh, six or eight that are always going to kind of be around, so you can have your favorites. But we also have a seasonal handle um, that we're going to rotate for seasons. So right now we're going to do like a passion fruit wheat, and then I, we have a Ooh. chef handle. So whatever chef's kind of in the mood for okay. and whatever he thinks is going to pair well with the food, it's his say, it's his handle. So we bring that in and kind of do all that. I could imagine it. Well, I have loved learning about the Pioneer, but unfortunately I have to cut you guys off because I cannot keep my hands out of this any longer. Oh, well, it sounds great. Thank you, Katie, for yeah, having us here today. thanks for coming. I appreciate and it. And Jeff, San Carlos is just wowing me more and more I know. Each We're, time. We've got it all now, I'm telling you, and it, <laughs> it keeps coming, so it's great. I love it. So move to San Carlos, call Jeff. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> thanks, Thank you guys. Priscilla, it is always great to see you. I gotta say, this house, even from the outside, magnificent. Amazing. I'm so excited to show this house. We're in Cardiff by the Sea, and I know you love, love it, it here. This is a brand new construction. It's a true entertainer's delight and has a kitchen to die for. You know, every good party starts in the kitchen. It's, and ends <laughs> at the kitchen, yeah. too. So I can't wait to show you. And I actually have a big surprise for you. Well, I'm a sucker for surprises, so you know I me all too know well. No, that's so let's go. <laughs> appreciate this surprise. You know, being on Lifestyles, I love seeing gorgeous homes like this I one, know. but they don't always come with food. So. That's why I'm full of surprise and I'm in love with this house and I can't wait for to get people over here to see. I mean, this kitchen alone, it's absolutely magnificent. magnificent. Yeah. I haven't seen any. It checks all of the boxes. Absolutely. And I'm so glad to have Global Tacos Grill with us. Thank you for having us. Thank you for, I can smell these tacos, you know, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, well, <laughs> we, we, love, uh, we love setting up at houses like this. You know, we're a full service catering company, so we do a lot of catering at, at very nice houses like this. And uh, we love to bring our style of global tacos. Um, and I being in San Diego, everybody loves tacos, right? Absolutely. But I can see that this is a different take it's, on It's a tacos. little bit different. It's, not, it's definitely not your typical taco experience. Uh, we're gourmet tacos with global flavors. So while San Diego has the best tacos in the country, we kind of elevate it a little bit with taking flavors from around the world, such as you know, Mediterranean, Asian, obviously, of course, California, Baja style um, as well. But uh, we take different flavors and put them together. So for today, for example, we, uh, we take a salmon with, uh, we have some tahini grilled pineapple, uh, some avocado salsa fresca topped with a little fresh citrus herb crema. 
And then we go into our portobello mushroom, it's our, our fresh farmer's market taco with uh, grilled marinated portobello mushrooms. Um, we've got a little avocado, some tomato, we've got a little uh, basil pesto aioli in there, some arugula, and um, got a little balsamic drizzle as well. Balsamic. Oh gosh, this is like fine dining right yes, here. Yes, that's what I love about them. They're my go-to catering company for events, open house, housewarming parties for my clients, and they bring a different flavor. Absolutely. I mean, I've been to houses and you can see like the taco truck and it's usually carne asada, chicken, right, rice and beans. Right, I mean, which are <laughs> great. Like I said, San yes. Diego, they're great, but we take a little extra step and go to the next level. Um, the other one we have here is the, the filet mignon taco. We have a little black truffle sauce on that. We have some diced... Um, Excuse me, filet mignon yes. and truffle? <laughs> filet mignon and truffle, you heard that correctly. And then we have some asparagus in there, some uh, grilled mushrooms and onions and some sweet potato as well. So, um, you know, we do all kinds of things. We do, uh, we cater different events. We do festivals, farmers markets, obviously private events, corporate events. But my favorite kind of event we do is when we do pairings, food pairings with wine. Yeah, that's um, one thing that I love about them. You can pair wine. Yeah, also, we have, you know I love my wine, right? Yes, so, you, uh, just, you sure do. Yes. Rosé all day. We, we have, exactly. We have a lot of, we did, San Diego obviously has a lot of great craft beers and we can, we can organize, like I said, we're a full service caterer. So we can bring in everything needed, tables, music. We have a lot of San Diego craft beers. And uh, we have some wines here that I'm going to pair with some of the tacos. Um, yeah. Today we selected uh, Martellato wines. It's a very uh, nice winery that is dear to me. Um, very elegant wines that drink really well. And I got some of the wines here that I think pair with each of the different tacos here. So um, hopefully we can yeah, try so those together. Yeah, so what would together. you recommend? I'm hooked on the filet mignon. Well, the filet mignon, and I've never I'm, paired wine I'm and gonna tacos go before, with the so. Martellato. Um, the Cabernet is uh, La Bamba, okay. which is actually a double gold award winning Cabernet, it's phenomenal. And it's, these wines are out of Santa Barbara. And uh, that's what's interesting about this is he's in Happy Canyon, where it's a, an area that you wouldn't expect Santa Barbara, known for the Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, but it's a warmer climate and he's making some phenomenal award-winning Cabernet as well. As long as some of the other, you know, as well as some of the other wines that he has too, that will go with some of the other tacos, but that's this. that's the pairing for you right there. It's the just Cabernet. perfect for this house, isn't it? Like you get global tacos here, you entertain. I mean, this kitchen, I bet he didn't mind cooking here. No, no not and at all. <laughs> He's and like, very nice. every very house nice. needs a kitchen like this. Absolutely, absolutely. And, absolutely. and I love the so. open concept of the house too. So yes. it does make for the perfect I feel like the house delight. begs for company yes. because it does have that open concept. Yes. So you couldn't pair a better company with a house like this. I know. Maybe we'll the yeah. lucky buyer will hire right. Global Talks for the housewarming <laughs> well, party. Well, you're cooking at houses all the time. So what did you think when you walked in? Oh, well, you know, just very happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a nice place to be. So uh, we set up in the backyard as well. We can always cook outside on our grills, but obviously with inclement weather, or just if you want to showcase the kitchen, we can come inside and we have all kinds of griddle pans we can bring inside and, and do things inside as well. So very versatile and obviously a house like this makes it very easy. Oh yes, so. this yes. is a, a diamond, a it's gem. A diamond, yeah. It's a gem, and I, I mean, I appreciate very much what my clients, the developer, DB&D uh, Properties LLC did. He thought of everything. And like I said, he checks all of the box. I mean, this kitchen is a piece of art. I have to admit, um, I'm staring at the wine and I would love to try the wine. Well, sure. So, <laughs> Which would you whatever like? Whatever you recommend for me. Well, you wanted to go with the, uh, the filet mignon yes. taco, so let's try the Happy Absolutely. Canyon. Absolutely. Uh, the La Bamba Cabernet. No, this is great. And I know, Priscilla, this is such a beautiful area. It is. I Cardiff. love it here. One Thank of you. the best neighborhoods in, in San Diego, I think, and the perfect lifestyle for San Diego. Cardiff by the Sea offers so much. Great schools. You're close to the beach. There's Seaside Market, um, close to Encinitas. Um, so there's so much that this area offers. I love, yes, I love Cardiff. This is delicious, by the way. Not <laughs> <laughs> and I think, like you said, if you're not entertaining here, you're just a walk down the street for the beach. Exactly, there's so much to do here. You can spend, enjoy your day at the beach, or just if you want a little bit of a nightlife, you can go to Encinitas downtown. You're close to everything. 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 Priscilla, which which would you like? We have a we have a viognier that could go well with the uh, the salmon, um, or we have a rosé. I'll do which, the viognier. Okay. I'll try it. Yeah. Rosé. This, this is an interesting one. Something wine. different. It is a little different, and uh, from this area, it's uh, it's very aromatic. It's got some nice lemon and lime zest on there, so pairs well with the uh, the citrus in the salmon taco. Delicious. I can't imagine this house staying on the market long, especially if it comes with tacos, right? <laughs> 
And yes. endless parties. <laughs> yes, buy this house, I'll hire Global Tacos to cater your house warming. So. so let's cheers to Mike and cheers Global, to my Global Tacos. tacos. And this cheers. House. And this house. I'll cheers. It myself. Right? Oh, perfect. <laughs>to Rancho Santa Fe, California, 92067. This is one of the most affluent zip codes in the country. We're here today to meet top producing realtor, Julie Feld. I'm gonna head around the corner and grab a cup of coffee with her to talk about what makes this lifestyle so special. This place is so charming. Tell me a little bit more about the food here. Isn't it cute? Yeah. Uh, the place is called Time in the Ranch. They've been in business for 24 years, mm -hmm. uh, open for breakfast and lunch. It's one of my favorite places just to stop in for a cup of coffee. Yeah. And great fresh baked goods every day. I know, it smells amazing. You got us quite the table. And the main street and kind of the center of the town is yes, right Yes, we're away. right in the village of Rancho Santa Fe. The main street is called Paseo Delicias, mm -hmm. very pedestrian friendly, cute shops and restaurants. You have uh, just across the street from us, the inn at Rancho Santa Fe, mm -hmm. historic hotel. So this area is called the Covenant. When I hear the Covenant, I think agreement or contract, but tell me what it refers to in this you're, case. You're exactly right. It, it, technically, it is the governing documents for this area, but it has come to refer to the neighborhood as well, the community as well. Some old history here. Very much so. It is uh, the oldest planned community in California. It was founded in 1928, and it's approximately 10 square miles. Home to about 4,300 residents, uh, so density is low, homes are spread out, uh, average lot size is about two acres and they go up from there. You really feel like you have a lot of space when you're living Very much here. so. It's a very country feel. You have lived near here for many, many years. Tell me what you think makes this area so desirable. Well, first of all, we have fantastic weather pretty much year round. Uh, we're only about five miles to the beach, so you've got cooling breezes from the ocean, access to beaches, surfing, sailing, all those activities. All that good stuff. We're only 20 miles north of San Diego International Airport. Mm -hmm. it makes it easy for people to travel in and out. And, you know, look around. The, the landscape is beautiful. Uh, it's over 7,000 acres of rolling hills and eucalyptus groves, fruit orchards, uh, sprawling equestrian uh, properties. Really beautiful. Well, since you mentioned equestrian, I was going to ask you about some of the fun recreational activities around here, if you could tell me more. I could tell you, but I'd love to show you. This is a, a very walkable area. Let's just take a stroll and uh, go take a look. Even better. Let's finish our coffee here Perfect. and then I'll follow you. All right, great. <laughs> Cheers. you brought us here how pretty to see this golf course right here in the village isn't it lovely this is the Rancho Santa Fe Golf Club it was uh, built in the late 1920s by Max Baer and it's known as one of the nicest privately owned courses in San Diego County so I see the trails going by a bit too tell me about that yes this is a the, the trail system is one of the nicest amenities I think in Rancho Santa Fe Covenant the Rancho Santa Fe Association maintains over 50 miles of equestrian trails so residents can walk or jog or ride their horses on these trails uh, winding throughout the Covenant. Well this must be a great place to own horses if you're a horse lover. It definitely is. There's some beautiful equestrian facilities including Rancho Osuna and uh, the Rancho Santa Fe Riding Club which was established way back in 1946 and has uh, about 11 acres, three riding rings, paddocks, and stables. And there's tennis facilities back here as well. Uh, Rancho Santa Fe Tennis uh, Club has 12 courts and top-notch instruction. And like the golf course, it's uh, for residents of the Covenant only. Well, you weren't kidding when you said there's a lot to do around here. Definitely. And is that a school across the street? Yes, that's the R. Roger Rowe School. It serves about 700 students in grades K through eight. 
and it's one of the top rated schools in the state. So that's one of the reasons people aspire to move to Rancho Santa Fe is to be part of that school district. It seems like given the area that's one of the schools that would help feed into some of the better high schools in this area. Yes, it's part of the San Diego Union High School District so it feeds into Torrey Pines High School and Canyon Crest Academy and they're both top rated schools. I know that matters to parents. Um, as a parent myself of two youngsters, there's some after school programs that seem kind of interesting to me. There are. Right behind the school is Rancho Santa Fe Community Center. And I'd actually like to walk over there with you and uh, have you meet their program director and hear a little bit about what they offer That's, to Rancho Santa Fe residents. That sounds great. Let's do it. Terrific. Well, we are a private membership-based community center located right behind Roger Rowe. So that's a K through 8th elementary and middle school, and we run after-school youth programs and summer camps. Nice. And yeah. one of the benefits is if a parent can't pick their kids up, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 So all the parents have to do is call us and say, hey, I need to, you to pick up our kids from school today, and can you take care of them? And so we say, yep, sure, sure thing. We'll go get them from school right now, and we'll be here till 5 o'clock. And what kind of activities do you do with them when they're here after school? Okay, so we do have two different types of programs. So we have our enrichment classes, which is where I hire contractors to come here and teach classes, such as art classes, volleyball, other, um, and then we cooking. also have, yeah, we have cooking classes. And then we do a Rancho Youth program where they have more free play and they're able to use the playground, do homework, and after school, they just get to hang out with our rec staff. Terrific, and you yeah. have summer uh, programs as well, we don't do. you? Yes. So we have um, three vans where we're able to drive the kids to different field trips, and then we also have enrichment camps here. So we saw the uh, basketball gym. You also have access to some of the school's facilities. Yeah, yeah exactly. So the school lets us use their playground. Um, we have a field that we can use as well, and our gym is um, primarily used for basketball, volleyball as well, and we run two basketball leagues for girls and for boys. What's this sign behind us, this donation sign? This is um, our spring fundraiser. We're trying to raise money to get new gym floors. Since we are a nonprofit, um, we do need to keep, um, upkeep this place and um, make sure that it's high quality for all of the staff and people that come here. That community center was awesome. There's just so much that's desirable about this area. I have to ask, what is the price range if I want to get in on a home in the Covenant? The homes that are on the market right now range from 1.7 million for 1,800 square feet up to 39 million. Ooh. That's a 22,000 square foot home on 33 acres. What's the average? About three and a half million is the average. It's a bit of a stretch for many, but for those who can afford it, I mean, I can't think of a better place to live. Thank you so much, Julie, for this tour today. My pleasure. I hope to see you again soon. Sounds good.